Hi guys, this is my first YouTube video and to start this great project, today I'm going to show you how to install Linux Ubuntu Desktop 2010. Okay, let's do it. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to create a new virtual machine inside VirtualBox software. I'm going to give it a name, Ubuntu 2010, and continue. Let's configure the amount of RAM needed, 2GB will be enough. Continue and create the virtual uh, hard drive to this virtual machine using VDI and dynamically allocated space. Now we need to allocate some hard drive space, 15 gigabytes is enough, let's create it and we are done. Now uh, that we have our machine, let's uh, open the settings and make some more configurations. So in the system uh, tab, we'll go to processor tab and uh, increase the amount of uh, CPU cores, now we'll be having the ISO file, this is the disk image file that we need to install our operating system. It's now inserted in the CD-ROM. Our Ethernet adapter will be configured in NAT mode, which means network uh, address translation, so we can have internet. Okay, we are now starting the machine and let's see if everything uh, runs OK and we start the install procedure. As you can see the installer is already starting. Some uh, initial files are being loaded. After this uh, first step is completed we are ready to start our installation. Okay, the graphical environment has already started. As you can see, we have the main window with the language option. I will choose English. We have the trial button and the install button. This is a normal installation, so we will be choosing install and proceed. Now we have to choose the keyboard layout. Uh, for, my, for my special case, I will be using Portuguese. Of course, you can use uh, whichever uh, keyboard layout you need, for example uh, English US or any other specific keyboard layout and continue as you like. In my case let's get back to Portuguese keyboard layout so we can continue. Now this will be a normal installation but I will uncheck the download updates option so we can keep this process fast and continue. Okay, so let's wait a little bit until the installation proceeds. Okay, we see the erase disk option here. This is a standard procedure. Let's continue installing with a complete uh, partition using the total amount of disk space available. Now in the region uh, profile, we need to check and uh, select the city where we are so we can have the correct uh, time date settings and regional settings and now in this uh, form we need to put uh, our own name our computer name this will be the host name of the machine and in the username field we will create our own personal uh, user account select a password for you repeat it and you can continue Now the files uh, are being copied so that we can have all the operating system installed in the main hard drive. We just have to wait a little bit until it finishes. And we are done. Okay, let's restart the machine 
and boot it for the first time. Okay, our machine already booted. You see the login uh, screen for the first time. I'm entering the password and let's uh, wait until the graphical environment loads for the first time. Here we are with uh, the first uh, welcome messages and the online accounts uh, form. If you have one, please configure it. I will uh, uh, let the canonical messages uh, switched on so we can debug the operating system and I will not uh, activate the location services in this case. So these are some uh, applications we can find in uh, Ubuntu Linux like Visual Studio Code, Skype, Spotify, also Slack, a great platform for developers. You can ha also see uh, Android Studio available and VLC, a uh, very well known media player. And of course, OBS Studio for video editing and GNU image manipulation software, a very nice one. Okay guys, that's it. Thank you for watching and comment, thumbs up if you like the video. See you next time.